as a testimony to the efficacy of the ABIS process, 14,665 multiple registrations were detected and rejected. Consequently, the number of new valid registrants in the FCT is 28,321. Added to this figure, a request for transfer of registrations to FCT, replacement of lost or damaged PVCs, and update of voter records, making an overall total of 39,208 new PVCs to be printed. I'm glad to report that the PVCs will be available for collect collection from 6 January 2022 until 4 February 2022. The FCT Office of the Commission will provide full details of the locations and procedure for the collection of the PVCs in earnest. I urge all new voters to see the opportunity to collect their voters' cards ahead of the deadline and avoid last-minute rush that characterized such exercise um, in the past. You may recall that in June this year, the Commission released the timetable and schedule of activities for the AKT governorship election holding on 18th June 2022 and the Oshun governorship election holding on the 16th of July 2022. A major activity for the two governorship elections is the conduct of primaries by political parties for the nomination of candidates for the election. For Ekiti State, the exercise begins in the next two weeks, that is on 4th January 2022, and ends on 29th January 2022. In the case of Oshun State, party primaries begin on the 16th of February 2022 and will end on 12th March 2022. In addition to these governorship elections and the FCT Area Council election, there are eight pending by elections involving three federal constituencies, just North and Basa in Plateau State, Akure North, Akure South in Ondo State, and Ogoja Yala in Cross River State, and five state constituencies, Shinkafi in Zampara State, Ekiti One in Ekiti State, Akpabuyo in Cross River State, Pangshin South in Plateau State, and Giwa West in Kaduna State. The Commission wishes to remind political parties that in choosing their candidates for these elections, they must abide by the provisions of the law, INEX regulations and guidelines, as well as their constitutions and guidelines. INEC will monitor the primaries as required by law. Political parties must therefore hold themselves to the same high standard of free, fair, transparent and credible elections that they expect from INEC during general elections. Any political party that fails to conduct democratic primaries within the framework or time frame provided in the Commission's timetable and schedule of activities cannot be expected to submit names of candidates to INEC for the election. In addition to these off-cycle elections, we must also continue to prepare for the 2023 general election. We have so many fiscal facilities to rebuild, materials to replace, regulations and guidelines to work on, consultations with stakeholders to strengthen, capacity of our staff to enhance, and several aspects of election administration to improve upon. Next year is therefore going to be a very very, very busy year for us. As we come to the end of year 2021, it is not inappropriate to wish you all a blissful Christmas and a happy new year. As you are aware, the Commission piloted two important technological innovations in the Anambra State Governorship election. The deployment of the bimodal voter accreditation system, the BVAS, for the first time in a major election after the successful pilot in the Isoko South 1 state constituency in Delta State in September this year, the BVAS has replaced the smart card reader for verification and authentication of voters as part of our improved 
voter accreditation process. The new technology was designed in-house by INEC engineers. Like every new technology, glitches were observed and important lessons learned. We wish to assure Nigerians that the Commission has reviewed the performance of the beavers in Anambra State and there will be tremendous improvement leading to optimal performance in future elections. The beavers has come to stay. So too is the uploading of polling unit results on the INEC results viewing portal known as the IREV. This has helped us to upload polling unit level results in real time on election day. We are convinced that the introduction of technology in voter accreditation and result management is better than the best entirely manual process. It also increases public confidence in the process. We will continue to deepen the use of technology in our elections. The second technological innovation introduced in the Anambra governorship election went virtually unnoticed by many Nigerians. For some time now, dedicated portals were created by the Commission to handle different aspects of the electoral process. For instance, the nomination of candidates by political parties, including the uploading of nomination forms, is now done online so too is the accreditation of election observers and the media. In addition, and for the first time in the history of the Commission, the accreditation of polling and collation agents nominated by political parties was done online. This has ensured that all such agents were provided by, with identification tags bearing not only their party logos, names, and other personal details, but personal photographs as well. In all, the Commission issued 63,745 identification tags to agents of the 18 political parties that sponsored candidates for the election. This has sanitized the process and made the identification of ghost party agents easier. We will maintain the same arrangement for all forthcoming elections including the 2023 general election. Turning to the CVR, we have now completed the second quarter of the exercise, which commenced online in June and fiscally at designated centers in July. We have also been given Nigerians weekly updates for the last six months. The third quarter of the exercise will commence in January next year. The Commission is aware that Nigerians would like to know when the exercise will be devolved beyond our state and local government offices to enable more citizens register. Secondly, for those already registered, they would like to know when their permanent voters' cards, the PVCs, will be available for collection. The Commission is working on these two areas of concern and will issue a comprehensive schedule for both activities early in the new year. Meanwhile, in the forthcoming area council elections in the Federal Capital Territory, scheduled for 12th February 2022, involving 68 constituencies to elect six area council chairmen and 62 councillors, the CVR exercise was suspended nine days ago. That is 60 days to the election as required by law. A total of 42,000 986 Nigerians completed their registration in the FCT. The Commission has diligently cleaned up the data using our new automatic biometric identification system, the ABIS, to weed out multiple registrations.